The Attorney General's Office raided the state's Martin Luther King Jr. Commission offices today. It's part of a criminal investigation into mismanagement of money. As News 13's Alex Goldsmith reports, the commission was already under scrutiny for spending money it shouldn't have. From this morning into the afternoon, agents from the Attorney General's Office hauled away computers and documents from the MLK Commission's headquarters. All the AG's office would say is it's tied to an ongoing criminal investigation. There is an investigation. Um, it was spawned by um, documents that were handed over to the MLK Commission. Commission member and State Treasurer Tim Eichenberg says he received those documents earlier this month from the head of a local educational nonprofit called eRead. What was it in those documents that concerned you? There was just questions of, of checks of counting principles that um, um, were just alarming. Fairly concerning. Actually very concerning. Last month it was the State Board of Finance that was concerned. MLK Commission head Kimberly Green told them the commission was nearly $100,000 over budget. That's not a small uh, overrun, that's, that's a huge overrun. The company owed the most? E-Read. Green said State Representative Cheryl Williams Stapleton had urged the commission to give that nonprofit a nearly $60,000 no-bid contract for test prep services. So she just, I mean, there's just a phone call saying, you know, E-Read, the contract with the SAT, ACT, and it's like, okay. Today, the MLK Commission tried to hold a board meeting where fire and green would have been on the table, but didn't have enough members show up to vote and had to reschedule. We'll be looking at a lot of reform at this point. Alex Goldsmith, KRQE News 13. Attempts to reach e read by phone today were unsuccessful, as were attempts to reach the MLK Commission's executive director, Kimberly Green. The commission's next meeting is next Tuesday.